So season four has been officially revealed here with the updates kicking off as of tomorrow for Black Ops Cold War, getting some technical things in there at 9 p.m. Pacific time, and then you'll have to wait about 24 hours before the full content goes live for Warzone and Black Ops Cold War. But we're gonna be getting a blog post detailing everything that we'll see here coming throughout the season and what we know of at least up until mid-season with a roadmap and a blog post detailing all that stuff. So they're gonna break down everything you need to know here with this. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to anything here in particular out of season four? Anything that really strikes you as particularly interesting? Maybe not so much. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. We're doing all things season four and anything COD related. A lot of stuff gonna be coming up here in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you stick it here if you're interested in any of that. But anyways, let's jump right into it. Again, as with the trailer breakdown a couple of days ago, bear with me, still on vacation here for the next couple of days, getting home just in time for season four. So hopefully the audio quality isn't terrible, but we'll make do with it. First, let's talk about this roadmap because we get an at glance view of everything that we see coming both at launch and a little bit of what's coming in season. We end up seeing on the left side of this roadmap, we have detailed the satellite crash sites for Warzone. That's going to be changing the map slightly here and offering up some new things to do within Warzone. We'll see at launch for Dansk Resurgence minis and then payload a brand new mode coming in season. We also see that we have detailed the Gulag change of hijacked, a new vehicle and the red door system coming as well. Also below that, new operators, a streak, new weaponry, prestige levels, a seasonal event. And over on the right side we see our multiplayer and zombies information now talking about some of those more important things here that we'll see across both cold war and warzone we have the mg82 coming in at tier 15 of the battle pass this season and the c58 at tier 31. the mg82 standard mg that you'll end up seeing here with this but the c58 is an auto rifle with a slow fire rate and a high damage profile with a low magazine capacity to counterbalance it so kind of reminds me immediately based off description of something like the odin that we'll see but We'll have to see how that all works out. Coming in season though, we have three other weapons, one being the nail gun, which is the precursor, as they said, to the Black Ops 3 futuristic nail gun. The OTS-9 is going to be a powerful SMG with, again, a small magazine to counterbalance it, which we'll be curious to see if this becomes a meta or not. I think it really depends upon how large the magazine size with modifications can be. And then we also see a mace, which is just a melee weapon at that. So personally, I'm happy to see more usable weapons rather than just melee reskins. So that's the weaponry we'll be seeing here within the season. We also see that we have detailed four maps as opposed to previously in the trailer we ended up seeing three we have collateral hijacked and amsterdam those previously mentioned ones in which those are 6v6 and 12v12 for collateral hijacked is 6v6 and amsterdam is 2v2 and 3v3 for face-off play then we also have a brand new introduction here given to us that being rush a black ops 2 dlc map that's returning in the 6v6 capacity that's one of those maps that i didn't really realize that I would love to see back but honestly looking back at it i had a ton of fun on that map so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this plays out within black ops cold war that's coming as of in season if i were to guess probably that mid-season update but then we also see the operators of jackal at launch and sala and weaver coming in season both of those likely being associated with operator bundles in the store unfortunately not with organic ways to unlock those but then diving a little bit deeper into the warzone stuff once again here we have those crash sites that's something that we know of at least two of them one being out in farms one being on the overpass leading into downtown what's interesting though is that in the blog post they did mention that these aren't going to be marked as points of interest as themselves but you can clearly see them once you get in those areas so it's going to be something like when those missile silos were opened up they weren't marked on the map but you could clearly see them from the air you could clearly explore them and everything like that i'm personally hoping we had a new easter egg associated with this where you can end up doing a quest line and then getting a blueprint reward nakatomi plaza gave you of course like specialist and an advanced uav a ton of cash and everything like that with season three and that mid-season update but i'd like to see something organic something that is actually rewarded for my completion of a certain set of things not just something that lasts one game that's just me then we end up seeing that there are the red door system coming here at this in which the blog post actually details this as a sort of redacted statement where you go in redacted and come out redacted but it hints at this being a fast travel system that we talked about as of recently and as we know this has been data mined with all sorts of points around the map so maybe something that maybe takes you to random locations within the world and based off of the imagery that we see in that roadmap it doesn't seem like there's any clearly denoted point a to point b like we had with these subway systems so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out one thing that i'm incredibly excited here for is that nakatomi plaza actually is detailed as staying which is awesome in our pre-brief before season three reloaded that mid-season update that introduced us to the 80s action heroes event they did mention that this was going to be going away as of the end of season three 
but seemingly due to popular demand and how much people really enjoy this place, we now see that this is going to be staying, but renamed not Nakatomi Plaza, but instead as Downtown Tower. Not necessarily a super unique name or anything like that, but it works and it's going to be staying around. So if you guys liked playing on that multi-level building and towering over the rest of Verdansk, that's going to be your main go-to place. That Easter egg though likely isn't going to be opened up here at this, so just know this really only offers different variations of play if you're going for, say, maybe high-level loot in downtown. Finally, rounding out the Warzone stuff, of course, we did mention that there is that new Gulag of Hijack that's going to be in the boiler and engine rooms here, the lower decks, if you will, of Hijack, so that's going to allow players a new experience within the Gulag, and it seems like this is a seasonal rotation. We ended up having Standoff in Season 2, Nuketown before that, and then, of course, the original Gulag showers that we had for quite some time throughout the main year of support of Warzone. The final thing that we'll really talk about with Warzone that kind of wraps everything up within Cold War and within Warzone is that new Groundfall event that's going to be at the launch of Season 4 here. This tasked with securing intel from the satellite crash sites in Warzone and in places in Cold War so that you can end up earning exclusive rewards as you do with every single seasonal update and that seasonal event, but also with a what they describe as out-of-this-world secondary blueprint. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. Hopefully that's something that is space themed. I think that'd be pretty cool, but that is going to be introduced at launch as well. Maybe we see something at mid season as well, but that's not something that we know of just yet, but I'd be excited to see with that, given that the eighties action heroes event kind of up that scale here and how we can anticipate in game events. As for zombies in Black Ops Cold War, there's going to be a lot of stuff here coming throughout the season as well, in which we end up firstly seeing a new outbreak region of Zoo, that being one of the fire team maps that was leaked from ages ago, and it's likely going to be a fire team map in season, but we seemingly see these introduced as outbreak regions and then transferring over into the multiplayer aspect of Cold War a little later, at least as of recently. We also see that we'll have a new operational quest in Outbreak, Operation Excision, in which this is the second part of that Easter egg quest that we got at the mid-season update as as of this past season, or I guess current season still of season three. So that's going to be an Easter egg hunt for those that love the thrill of the quest and what may be lying at the end here. But that also sets up then later in season Mauerder Toten, the new Berlin Zombies map that's going to be coming DLC three here within Black Ops Cold War. So that's going to be something that is a direct setup based upon that Easter egg. So if you guys want the continuity, that's going to be something that follows directly there. But anyways, outside of that, that's really about it. But other Cold War content that was mentioned here for season four is kind of some stuff that we see every single season. We have a new streak coming, that being the Hand Cannon. Again, an Easter egg within the campaign of Black Ops Cold War, making its way over into Black Ops Cold War's MP now at this point. It's going to be basically the Annihilator from previous Black Ops games, a one-shot pistol that is used as a streak. Then we'll see new modes of One in the Chamber, multi-team sat link coming at launch, and then capture the flag in season. We'll have new prestige icons and levels. You also will have the ability to gift battle passes in-game. We have that, of course, on the companion app for Call of Duty and online, but it's soon going to be coming in-game and also soon coming to Warzone in-game. So if you want to gift your buddy a battle pass, absolutely can. And it seems like as a final note, seeing some of these images here within Season 4's marketing, the cosmetics seem to be ramping up in kind of zany levels, which to me, I'm all for. I like that flashy stuff. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it seems like we're getting to that point in the year where the sort of realism of it all is being left behind. We see this normally pick up towards the last few seasons of a game every single year. World War II got pretty crazy about halfway through its year of support, Black Ops 4. Kind of got crazy around the same time, though, you could probably argue it started earlier. Modern Warfare, again, kind of dropped that sort of realism tag to it relatively early on, and then Black Ops Cold War seems to be pushing that way now also. But anyways, that is the Season 4 preview that we had here given to us by Call of Duty, by Activision, in blog and roadmap format. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. Let me get your thoughts and feedback once again down there in the comment section down below. Anything in particular really strike your fancy, anything you're really looking forward to, or anything that you're not really looking forward to, feel free to let me know your thoughts down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the single thing running all things Warzone, Cold War, and anything COD related. We can do with absolutely everything you need to know, especially as Season 4 is gearing up here come later this week. If you guys also want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, there's the best places to get content on YouTube. Practice on both those. If you guys want to share a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace. Oh, 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 oh,